welcome back guys so this is question 25 and here i have to represent each of the decimal number as an 8 bit in the two's complement form so uh, the steps will remain same as we have done with the ones complement so that wherever i will have here the negative numbers i will first take the positive number convert it to the binary one and will take the two's complement of it and that would be the corresponding negative number of that decimal number so the first question or the first thing here i have is this 12 okay so we can very clearly see that this is a positive number so just writing the binary equivalent of it will be the sufficient one so again taking these terms here so 0 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 and 27 okay so the binary equivalent of this 12 will be how much so here i can see that 8 is the closest possible number which is less than this 12 while this is 2 to the power 4 is the 16 which is higher than this okay so 8 plus 4 is 12 while taking the others as 0 okay. so this is basically the binary number which corresponds with it and there is no need to take the two's complement because this is already positive number so one one zero zero this is the answer of it similarly in part b of my question this is minus 68 okay so here i have to represent it and therefore i have to take two steps so in first step what i have to do i have to take the binary equivalent of plus 68 so the binary equivalent of plus 68 would be taking it here so this is now to power 6 is 64 this is here so 64 and 68 the difference between them is 4 so therefore there this is the 4 while taking others as zeros okay so what is this this is the binary equivalent of it so 0 1 triple 0 1 double 0 okay uh, in second step i have to find the two's complement of it okay so in order to find the two's complement of it what i have to do i have to take the one's complement of it so one's complement of it will be 1 0 triple 1 okay and zero double one this is the ones complement and in order to take the twos complement of it i have to add one with it so adding one with it what i will get one one is zero one will be carried here this is zero this one here so one 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 zero one okay so what is this this is the twos complement which is the alternative of this minus 68 in the binary number so that is the binary equivalent of minus 68 in the two's complement form okay so that is the number similarly the third one here is 101 again this is a positive number and just taking the binary f uh, equivalent of it will be the sufficient one here okay so i'm not going to um, uh, convert it here but you can try it over it that just writing the binary equivalent of it will be the sufficient one while the last one here is uh, minus 125 okay so d is minus 125 okay so that is again a negative number so again i will follow two steps so again first step binary equivalent of plus 125 how much would it be let me write it here converting it by using it so what i will get here it will be this is 64 32 96 96 plus 16 is 112 112 8 is 120 this is uh, 124 okay so 124 and 1 is 125 so that is what that is the binary equivalent of plus 125 so here it will be 0 1 1 1 1 1, 1 and 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 6. okay so that is the binary equivalent of 125 and in the second step i have to find the two's complement so in order to find the two's complement of it first of all i have to take the one's complement so one zero 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 and one zero okay one two three four five six seven eight okay this is the one's complement 
and adding with it one okay so it will be one one zero 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 one okay so what is this this is the two's complement which is the binary equivalent of minus 125 okay so in this manner we have covered that how to calculate the two's complement of the negative numbers while the positive uh, numbers uh, binary equivalent will remain same so that's the end of uh, today's lecture in which we have solved question 25 and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video see you soon